Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be jumping into the newest Ninja Road, Ninja Road 35, and this is going to be a lot of fun because I need a change of pace for Ninja Road. We had the last one for quite a while, and I definitely did grind up Night Guy on it a lot as well, so I'm ready for a new Ninja Road. Move in, jump on into it, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and look at it, first of all, because I haven't done it yet. It's going to be my first run. It's going to be cool, but as you can see, I don't even have the acquisition stone right there or any of the rewards for the first time. So there is that, and there's a total map. Now, before we talk about Ninja Road, actually, I want to say that there's actually a lot going on right now. So we also have Qualifying League, which I'll probably make a video for tomorrow. I'm just going to tackle Ninja Road today. Uh, we got five pros for Toby Rama's birthday, but his birthday is actually on the 19th. So over here in America, it's going to be tomorrow. So I might make a video for that tomorrow. And then when it comes to banners, we do have Blazing Bash, of course, for Kakashi. I made a video last week. If you guys want to summon on him, it's up to you. I personally think this is a good banner, like I said in that video, because it has Minato, it has Madara, and it has Kakashi on it. And it's not that bad. I mean, you can even get something really cool on the third step, so that's pretty good. And just to make sure I was right, I think you can get... Shouldn't you be able to get Toby Rama, I would imagine, right? I would think that he would be a part of this banner. Wow, okay, I guess not then. I thought Toby Rama... Oh, yeah, there he is. Wait, no, that's not the right Toby Rama. All right, I guess Blazing Best Toby Rama is not in this then. That's unfortunate. But, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Ninja Roll. Like I said, we're going to be jumping right into it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've already got the team set up. It's the exact same team I pretty much used for Ninja Roll 34. Because this is my first run, I'm going to go ahead and just jump on into it with a team like this that's kind of OP with the AoE Jutsu. And at the same time, I got some heals. I also have protection from Ninjutsu in almost every row. And then when we look at the second team, I'm going to go ahead and just take this team as well. I do know for a fact that the last row is going to be for a body boss on the last map. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is just bring a team like this and then I'm going to just use EMS Sasuke. That's the only way you can do it. And then the third team's empty right now. You can put your Kage League unit there, obviously. But yeah, this is the team I'm going to be taking. Let's go ahead and jump into Ninja Road 35. All right, here we are on the first map and it doesn't look too bad. Lots of Waizetsu though I am seeing. But hey, that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and just do this. And yeah, okay, so first map, nothing crazy. I don't know if this is an easy Ninja Road or a hard one. Like I said, I've just seen like a brief overview of all the maps, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be too easy. I mean, this map's not too bad. I mean, I have 17,000 health, so even this thing right here where they always just keep hitting you over and over again, that's not that bad, to be honest. I might not get under 100 turns right now, but obviously you can perfect on that later. We'll see what's up, though. Let's go ahead and just, let's just kill off. We might as well. I don't know what chakra we'll be getting. Hopefully they made it where the bosses give you chakra every time. I miss that, man. I miss that a lot. New players don't know about that, man. It was, it was good. All right, I guess I'm going to use my boy Hashirama here. Go ahead and just take them out. And then, I mean, because like, I really don't need to solve up chakra right now. I feel like, who knows? Maybe I do. I mean, I got an ultra combo there. So it's all good. All right, my boy Sai. What you doing, Sai? 30% chance in jutsu ceiling. Okay, so we need to kill this man then. I ain't feeling the jutsu ceiling side. We, we don't play that around here. <laughs> we really don't. All right, so let's just go ahead and keep it moving. All right, the first boss is going to be Katsuyu. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen Katsuyu. I feel like, it, to me, it feels like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Hopefully, she gives me chakra back because what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go... Oh, she puts slip damage. Of course, she does. Uh, chakra reset. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right, yeah, tons of damage. She can go ahead and heal up if she wants to as well. That's completely fine with me. If that's the case, Hashirama should finish it off if Madara did that much. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. All right, give me Chakra, though. Ah, 5,000 health. That's okay. I got a Chakra reset on Madara-chan. Madara-chan. I got one on Madara. Um, he's, he's good. Ooh, okay. Th this is a weird map. First of all, why are we in Orochimaru's lair, and why are... This looks like the Ninja War. I think they got the battlefield mixed up. I think they got it mixed up a little bit. <laughs> but all right, whatever. I like it. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, how much does the slip damage last? That's the question. Two turns? Yikes. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess I'm just going to do this then. I mean, I could use Madara to go ahead and like try to nullify it, but uh, we might as well do this. Okay. So yeah, they're not, they're not tanky whatsoever. If that's the case, what I'm going to go ahead and do is this. Maybe this will kill off Minato, who knows? At the very least, it'll set up some heals. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. I want to see what they do as well. Okay, Obito's dodging though. Okay, it missed, so it's probably something bad then. Because <laughs> Obito could dodge that stuff. Alright, um, I'm just going to keep using Hashirama, man. <laughs> His first Jutsu is low-key better, just because of the fact that it nullifies Ninjutsu. So, hopefully he goes for Hashirama. No, he did not. Alright. 
That's fine, boy. Uh, we still have the 5,000 heal. Oh, he held recovery sealed me, though. Uh, we still have the 5,000 heals, though. So that's pretty good as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the ult because it nullifies the damage. And at the same time, this should give me my 3 chakra back. And there we go. That is map 5. All right, interesting map, interesting map. I could have just used more AoE, but I wanted to be a little bit sparing. Okay, the 8 tails. All right, it's been a while since we had him as well, I feel like. All right, um... Uh, do I want to use pain? That's the question. I, I guess I could go ahead and use pain, man. I just really don't know what to expect. Like, this is the first run, so everything is going to be a little iffy. Um, do I, I think I'm going to use Kage. Here's the thing. When it comes to bosses, I love using, like, everybody but, like, the AoE. I shouldn't have even used pain, to be honest, but I'm hoping we get Chakra back after this. Ooh, that took a big chunk out of him as well. All right. Switch ceiling. Ah, you've got to be kidding me, man. Come on. How long? Four turns? Really? We're doing this now? We're doing this. And what's horrible about that is the eight tails range is almost impossible for you to dodge as well. Aw, oh, you've got to be kidding me, bro. I'm going to get switch sealed forever. There's literally nothing I can do. Dang, I don't like that. That That's not something they should have done. <laughs> that's not something they should have done, man. Because this boss is... You, you can't dodge, really. Like, it's impossible almost. All right, there we go, though. That takes care of him. Okay, so his health isn't that big of a deal. I just started it in the wrong row. If I would have started with Kage and then Obito, it would have been a lot better. But, alright, map 7. Okay, we got uh, another weird team. We got the team with Hinata there, so I like that. But why is the Hokage there? <laughs> why is the third Hokage there? <laughs> alright, immobilization resistance, okay. Now, the issue is I'm switch sealed, so what am I gonna do? That's, yeah, that's the question. What am I gonna do? I'm switch sealed. Okay, I'm not switch sealed here. Okay, Hashirame, you're gonna go ahead and come over here, my boy, and tank this. Uh, do get an ultra combo. He's attack weakened as well. That's good. Okay. All right. We just need to get to my Madara, man. But I'm Jutsu sealed for another three turns, which is not good. Uh, yeah, that's not good at all. All right. Let's do this. I could have built up an Ultra combo for Hashirama, but no, we're just going to do this. I need to spread out, to be honest, because these combination attacks are hurting right now, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and push these two over there to Hashirama and go ahead and lay down some heals. They should have given what they should have done is giving you the the health boost here for this map because the chakra boost is almost like useless, especially when you take into account that I'm switch sealed. All right, am I gonna die here? Really? Am I gonna die because of this map? I feel like I am. the The double chakra though is pretty cool. All right, we should be able to start switching out now and doing some actual damage. Gosh, they just hurt so much, and the, and their range is so long too. Okay. Alright, I'm done. Yes, I am done. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to come on in with Madara. And Madara is going to go ahead and hopefully bully them. Yeah, okay. So as long as we can survive this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, the heals came clutch. Thank goodness for Obito, man. Alright, so this map's kind of annoying. Especially because if you get switch sealed, you're going to be out of commission for a while. And there's like nothing you can do about that. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and bring them down here. And this will go ahead and kill them all except for him. Alright, I like that. I like that. Uh, let's just go ahead and auto it now and what's really cool the new feature is that you can auto with ninjutsu and or secret technique now Which I actually think is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if it's that useful though because let's be honest if you're leaving it on auto you, I mean yeah, if you press ninjutsu I guess but the only time I ever use auto is like something like this where I'm stalling up chakra I don't want to use a ninjutsu. So I don't know. I think it's cool. Don't get me wrong But is it very useful? Uh, it's up to you to decide I suppose All right He does hurt quite a bit Alright, I got Kagi in the back healing though, so that's good. Yeah, this is just the part it's gonna take. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill off the Hokagi and we'll meet back on the next map. Alright, my favorite boss in the game, we have the Juby right here. I do love the Juby. He's always, uh, he's always an interesting boss to say the least. Um, am I even gonna be able to hit him? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stay down here then. Although I don't know what these status elements are looking like, so this could be very bad. We'll see what's up though. But yeah, the Juby. I love this boss because, you know, I'm a big fan of Juby Jin Shuriki Obito or Jubito. And also the Juby, man, like he's a Ten Tails. I can, you know, like him. He's pretty dope. All right, let's see what it is, though. Okay, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I don't like the Juby anymore, man. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. No, it's all right. I got all the healing units in the back, so that's not that big of a deal. And they don't seem too tanky, like even the limbs. Yeah, this should take care of most of the limbs right here. Oh, please don't do a lot of damage. I'm fine with status ailments. If you want to be like that, go ahead. Oh, it's just damage conversion, though. That's not bad. 
That's not bad, because like I said, I have the healing units in the back row, so in this case, it's actually pointless. It doesn't do anything. So that's really good. Really good. Okay, I love you again, Juby. You're my homie. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. We still have plenty of AoE left. Well, really, we just have pain, and we'll, we should have Garas, depending. But I'm hoping they give you Chakra back. Please give me Chakra back. Don't be like that. Yes, there we go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That's good. Okay, if they want to do that at the end, that's fine. That's fine with me. All right. Okay, this could be a make or break map. Map 9 is usually like that, so we'll see what's up. Let's go ahead and just try to tackle it at our best. We do start off the map with Gara, so I can do the double combo wombo with the bravery. So that's what we might have to just go ahead and do. Let's see how tanky they are, because that's also going to determine what I do. But again, we have plenty of stuff. And I feel like map 9 on the other one was a lot diff more difficult. Yeah, this isn't that bad because I can be able to go ahead and kill off Eno right here. And then I could come on in with Pain if I want because Pain can nullify any damage. But I think I'm going to use Hashirama just because Choji's already weak. Yikes, that boy hurt though. What the heck? He, that Choji smacked. Come on, Choji, chill out. <laughs> he took that pill and he said, I am not playing today. All right, there we go. Yep, there we go. Alright, so not bad, not bad. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I didn't stall up for my other team. I didn't even think of that. I didn't stall up my other team for the last map. Okay, so that's not going to be good. Um, We need to kill off then. We need to kill off, so... Let's just go ahead and do this and build up an ultra combo. I, I might need to stall up a little bit then. Uh, Moderate is chakra sealed though. Okay, this is going to be a little bad actually. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is going to be kind of bad. Alright, so let me go ahead and up here. And then what I'll do is, I mean, we pretty much have Chakra because I'm going to just use a lot of AoE. Yeah, let's do this because he's going to Chakra Seal, uh, he's going to keep Chakra Sealing Moderate then in that case. And I really don't want that to happen. I should have stalled up Chakra. It's always a good idea to stall up Chakra for another team on one of the earlier maps. I prefer map three with Psy. That way I could just go ahead and one shot the next map. If I die right here, that's what I'll do. I'll go back and do that. I, I completely forgot. But, alright, so here we go, map 10. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. I, I hate when they put a lot of units on map 10 like this. Like, Kaguya, it was annoying, but she was by herself. I would take it. I don't mind it. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Alright, so let's see how much damage we do. He is a body type. I don't have a single skill type to my name right here. Okay, that's not... It doesn't look that bad, but I don't really have... Okay, that's where the bad comes in. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me see this. Um, chakra recovery ceiling. Okay, I need to sync with Uchiha. That is not an option right now. Okay, so that's not good. But I do nullify the type advantage, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this then. Man, chakra ceiling, health recovery ceiling. I can't get health recovery sealed though, so as long as I leave out... Or I don't bring out Kaguya, we should be getting heals at least. Yikes, that does hurt. Aw, oh, really? Really? They're gonna do you like that? Aw, oh, come on, man. Why do they make the last maps like this? It's so stupid. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back in with a skill team then and just nuke this man at this case. Because, uh, yeah, th this isn't gonna be fun. <laughs> it's one thing to have so many units that do so much damage, but then they add all these status effects. Like, look at all that, man. Like, you're not meant to stay on this map. You, the only way to do it, really, is nuking. Uh, I mean, unless you want to just sit here and then bang your head in the wall, but that's not for me. Alright, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to go ahead and nuke this, man. I'm just going to end it and come back, because it's not worth the trouble. Oh, I like that. Look at that. It says how much turns you have at the top. 47 turns. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I was halfway through. Yeah, I'm just gonna come back. It'll make it so much easier. So let me just do that. All right, I'm back on map 10 and I have my team set up right here. I have the EMS Sasuke at a 150% boost. I might not be able to take advantage of it the same way I do with Kage because they are kind of crazy on this map and they will attack me for sure. So what I'm probably gonna go ahead and do is just take advantage of Kakashi's. Although Kakashi is kind of close to Naruto, so I might not even be able to do that. Um... It just depends. I mean, Sakura is right there, so I guess what I could do is try to move up here. As long as she doesn't, like, Jutsu seal me or something stupid, then it's all good. I should still be able to take advantage of the boost. Alright, let's go ahead and move up here to my boy Hashirama. Let's see how much this is going to do. I don't know if this is a one-shot. He should have less health than Kaguya, I would assume. But we'll just have to go ahead and see. Let's see how much is this going to do. One shot right there. There you go, baby. That's Ninja Road, 35, 63 turns. And yeah, so he does seem like he has less health than Kagi. I'll probably do another video talk about that. But there we go. I went ahead and I one-shotted that man. Got it within 100 turns. Now, it technically was the first run. I, I did 
you know, go ahead and end it and go back through. But that's because that was my own dumb, like, planning. I didn't think about it. I actually even said at the beginning of the run, I'm going to go ahead and install up. I just forgot to because I was just doing the map for the first time. But it's really not that bad, actually. I think this Ninja Road is actually simpler than the last one. I just used this team right here. It's the same team I used for the last one. And then this team right here just for the last map. This is the team I recommend for the last map because... It's even more challenging than Kaguya's map, in my opinion, just because Kaguya's map, you had room to move around. Here, I was scared to even move Naruto up there because I didn't know what Sakura was going to do to me. But it's really not that big of a deal. I really recommend you use EMS Sasuke with that body boost and this team setup because if you try to use Kakashi, switching the typing might not work in your favor. I mean, you do have that first turn because it doesn't look like Sakura does Jutsu Ceiling. So you should be able to switch the typing with someone and then use Kakashi. But I'm pretty safe in saying you're going to need all seven dupes to be able to do that because this man, <laughs> he has at least 400k health, I'm assuming. But there we go. That's Ninja Road 35 first run. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's pretty cool. I'm probably going to grind it a lot more and make more videos on it but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video